okay. I tried it so that it sounds like that. Okay. Okay? And now, oh, you have your guard, so I, it, if you push it like that, yeah. it goes only that far, but you're able to turn it a lot. Yeah. That's perfect then? Yeah. Littler blades are better, but on this, this one, but you can't push them all the way back on the thing. Yeah. Or they'll just slide back through. Okay. You have to have them in the center and then screw them okay. in. Okay, and so you got all these other ones ready to go. You're making a whole bunch of pieces yeah. today. Okay. okay, cool. Just a minute. Let me show you how, how I do it. I have it all the way loosened while I screw it in. Yeah. And then I, I tighten it up. Mm-hmm. Well, this is my personal trick here. Yeah. I tighten the thing up a lot. Right. Until, uh, let me move the piece of wood so that it can actually fight. Wow, that's pretty tight. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay. And now, sometimes while you're, you're working, the knob will just go like this on you. Yeah. So if you catch it doing that, stop the machine. Raise this up a bit. Yeah. And then do it when it, put it back, screw it in when it's above the a piece of wood. Because it likes going more down yeah. when you screw it back in. Hmm. You have really become knowledgeable. All right, so now what are we doing? You need your glasses. They're right there. No, where's right. my clear one? This one. No, those aren't them. Did Just you take them in the... You might have taken them in the house. You need glasses for it. I would go with clear, but your choice... Okay. Just ones that you can see through very easily. Mm -hmm. Like yellow ones. Yeah. Yellow ones are okay, but I would go for clear. Okay. If I were you. Smaller blades are the best. Okay. For scroll saws. All right. Cool. I'll tell you that. All right. I love this it. This one is pull on, push off. So, yeah. Okay, this is a tool to it. You don't all all scroll saws don't have a tool to all scroll saws. Some of them don't have a tool. Some of them do. Yeah. It's just mix and match. Tool, okay. Or not. Okay. Some scroll saws you have to use like fifteen tools before you can uh, undo the oh blade. Gosh. My gosh, okay. Yeah. But you're ready, right? Yeah. We're ready to start cutting here? Mm -hmm. You think? It's looking yeah. pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna Oh hey, you wanna know the reason that I that I would prefer the smaller blades? Why? Because you can do a lot more detail with it. Oh. Makes sense. Details are the best when you are doing chess pieces. Yeah. Because chess pieces use a lot of details. Mm. Interesting. They just do. Okay. And also, through while I'm cutting, yeah. I will show you how I make them 3D. Okay. Ready? Okay. Go. Go, go, I got it.
you take your glasses off for a sec while you do this. Okay, take your tool or if you don't have a tool on yours. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna stop and start. Okay, go ahead with the tool. Okay, if you have a tool on yours, that's fine. Just, if you don't, that's fine too. You just undo that. If it pops up, like, if it pops up like really fast, yeah, that's fine. That's yeah. perfectly fine. It's just the way you tighten it. Yeah. It's fine. And now you raise up the guard all the way. Uh, this one means to be to, means to be better. And then you take this off here. Come on. Come on. It's okay if it's a bit hard to take off. Yeah. Okay. Now you turn your piece of wood. Oh, as you saw, I didn't go all the way through. Yeah. I just went a little bit. Mm hmm Normally, well, do whatever you would like. I just prefer doing it until you see that your hole and your line is lined up. Mm hmm Let me you see what, what where's the cutting line that you just did? Show me. Here it is. Wow, it's perfect. All right. You don't really need to do it to the hole yeah. necessarily, but personally, I just like doing it. Next, you put the blade through the, the other side of the hole. Yeah. Oh, um, there's one thing to it. Um, You use spray glue. I'll show you what that is. You print out the pieces of paper for your chest right. set. You spray glue to put it on. Yep. And let that dry up it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then you drill the holes. It was about there and there. Yeah. On both sides. And then I'll show you how I cut those little blocks here. Over here. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to. My mom and dad used this one to cut off the pieces for me. This, this type of saw is very dangerous. It's just super dangerous. Yep, it is. So you'd let your mom and dad do that part because yep. it's dangerous. And so then they cut it into the super size things. Show me the size that you cut it to. Mm -hmm. I still okay. Gotta the okay. Anyway, so you, so you line it up to where you, it is and yep. you will cut it when the each piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You glue on the pieces of paper individually. Yes. And... And then cut it in between. The Papa cut them all for you. Yeah. That's cool. That's easy then, right? Okay, now, come on over here. Yep. And show me how many do you have ready already. Okay. And there they are, right? Oh, hey, there's one more thing. Okay, tell me one more thing. Okay. Oh, wow. These blocks here are just scrap. Yep. But they're actually really cool, though. They are really cool. They're the pieces that had the chest pieces in them. Yeah. It's actually kind of cool to keep these. That is kind of cool. You can keep them if you want. If you don't want to keep them, go ahead and throw them away. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun. But, the very first chest set you made, right? Yeah. Okay. Ready, go. Also, if you... Well, also, there's one thing I want to tell you. I'm only eight years old. That's right. That's amazing. And Where did you learn to do all this? Oh, um, I... He got... I actually got really interested on woodworking on a clinic at a summer camp. It's called YMCA Flat Rock River Camp. Mm-hmm. Um, I would go on the 4th of July, on the week through with, so they have the 4th of July. That's a really fun week. Yeah. But your parents have to be a veteran. Yeah. 
your parents have to be veterans so that or military or military mm -hmm. so that you can get into that camp nice support. and you recommend it right yeah i recommend that camp specifically it mm -hmm. was my first ever camp and it's been my only camp i've only been there two two years yep and i've had a great time that's wonderful all right it's only five days sometimes well if you want to put your kid in there for longer yeah you'll have to pay a lot more money for okay it. but but you have the choice right yeah and so in five days you learned how to do this whole wood cutting thing right yeah that's amazing sometimes they do two clinics a day sometimes oh. they do three right i mean like weekly that's wonderful and like there's one there's a few other things i want to tell you okay about that camp go ahead um actually they do fireworks on the fourth of july wonderful yeah they sure do um there's one more thing about it what actually they have like a gajillion fireworks shooters. Yep. Mm. And they like all shoot them at the same time. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And right when you think they're done, nope, you're wrong. There's... And that happens like 13 times. Wow, cool. All right, yeah. ready for the next step. Now? Okay, whoopsies. So now we got one side cut. What are we working on now? Okay, we've got one side already cut. Yeah. Um, what are you doing there? Just putting the blade all the way in. Yeah. Okay. Now that we, we've got that in, it's super loose here. Oh, you're right. Because I have it on the loosest it can be. Okay. But that is actually a good thing. So the blade is just like on a pie on both sides. Mm. So it doesn't know it's going to get stretched out a lot. And it uh. gives you more advantage over the blade. Oh. A lot more actually. Okay, just a minute. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, you're probably wondering, why do I have three pairs of glasses? It's because my siblings love to watch me do my woodworking. Mm -hmm. And do you require everyone to wear glasses? Um, I have three siblings. Yeah. I don't have enough glasses for them all. But they get to come watch you. They have to wear glasses? Well, if they want to be closer, mm -hmm. they have to wear glasses. That's, that's a good safety tip. Mm -hmm. yeah. And my dad got me these ones so that they... He, would stop whining like little oh, babies no. about not getting to be up close. All not right, well, glasses. okay, let's go on to the next thing. Now that you have all of that situated, you lift the guard down. And now, put your glasses down. Yeah. Um, I got these glasses at Harbor Freight. Good. I got the blades at Lowe's. Yep. And yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, wait. Um, this type of machine, this type of scroll saw, you might never find it. Because my mom's dad actually just fixed it up a bit. I don't really know what parts of it she fixed up. Yeah. But yeah. It's an older machine, so they this is an older model. Um no, it's not an older model, it's just a normal model. Mm-hmm. But my, my mom's dad just changed it up a lot. Yep. I know she does that a lot. Mm-hmm. Alright, well that's good. So yeah. A okay. saw. Yep. Turn your machine on. And let's get cutting.
What do you it's, think happened? It's all right. The blade just broke. So now we just have to replace the blade? Yep. Wow, that's crazy. Ooh, you were very scared? It's very surprising when the blade breaks. That is totally fine. Oh, okay. It's totally fine if you're very surprised and yeah. very scared at the same time. Okay, but it's an easy fix? And also, if you so don't turn it off, like, right when it breaks. Yeah. Um, it might just go bang, 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 oh. bang, bang, to your wood and put a lot of dents in it. But oh. that won't hurt the chess piece. Okay. Unless if it goes, like, all the way through the wood. Have you had this happen before? Yes. Oh. Lots of times. Oh. I've had it hit the wood lots. Oh. But you're so you're an expert at fixing this now, right? Yep. All right. Good. You get one of your blades. Put the rest of your blades back. Have to go underneath here somewhere, huh? Here. Okay. And then close that up. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this was already here. Mm-hmm. And look at the blades very carefully. Make sure that this is the bottom of the blade. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you put that in. Oh, we have to, we have to screw this all back. Mm -hmm. There we go. over there and, and it's kind of like threading a sewing needle almost right <laughs> a lot more harder a lot harder huh okay. where's my tool oh, there. do as I he so really you already cut it. all that portion okay but I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do okay all right you're gonna zip through it this is kind of weird though. okay but it's what you have to do for all it right. if you have the blade go you just have to follow the pathway Yeah. Cool. And now you got to the. Now you're cutting again, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool.
Done? Okay. Wipe off all of the sawdust okay. off of your scroll saw here. Okay. And then take your glasses off. Take your tool. And that's what it will do to you. You have to take the blade out again? Yeah. Take the blade out of it. Okay, now here comes the weird part. How are we going to get that chess piece out of here? I have no idea. You have no idea, right? Okay. You already did all the sides? Yeah. We did all the sides. One, two... Actually, here's the trick Four. here. You yeah. do one side, yeah. but you're actually doing two at the same time. That's cool, right? I think that's so, cool. So, yeah. yeah. And now, your piece push down on these a bit. You might see that they're a bit, you know, wanting to fall out. Yeah. That is because it's almost done. All right. Okay. Now, you put your blade in without putting it through any of the holes. Really? I got my board upside down. Okay. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Glasses on. Get your machine on. And let's do this. Okay, watch as I do this. So Kind of got to be careful that your finger doesn't get right there by that okay. wire, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Now that you've cut okay, this hold on. off. Ready? Wait, pause. Go. Now that you've cut this off, yeah. watch what you, you can do. And just take that off. Take that off. And here's that thing. The little case for it. There's a piece. There's a wooden chess piece. That Hold is me. awesome. It's fully 3D. And which okay. kind of piece is this one called? It's called the pawn. The pawn. How many pawns do you have to make? Eight. Eight pawns? Mm -hmm. Holy cow. How many pieces do you have to make for the whole game? Um. So you get how many in the white team? 16. You get 16 pieces, and then you got to make my pieces, too? And you have to make 16 more. Holy cow. This is going to take you all day. 
Okay. See you some other time. I Bye. loved it. Thanks, Ray.